is a path walker news. And I'm unfortunately not going to be able to get into my shop at all this coming weekend. So I thought I would give you a video this week of a previous build of mine. This is my 14 foot tall tree. And of course it doesn't have any function other than just making me really happy. <laughs> and of course uh, decorating this giant, giant wall of mine. Um, the way that this tree came about is as soon as I uh, purchased the house, moved in, and I sold this just giant space, I just thought it would be way too cool to have somehow make a tree on this wall. And so that's how the idea emerged. Um, some of you who have been following my channel have probably already seen the video I've put out of how to use a projector as a tool. And that is exactly how I accomplished this massive, massive tree. Since I cannot draw, what I did is I grabbed two sheets of plywood. In this case, I grabbed oak because I was told that it has a lot of beautiful grain in it. Um, I guess I should tell you that this is actually my very first project to ever do. First time I ever used a power tool, first time I ever thought of an idea and then saw it become something. And so I guess, this is what has gotten me addicted to what I'm doing. But what I did is I grabbed two sheets of 4x8 oak plywood and I nailed them up temporarily onto the wall. And this one, since the trunk is actually two pieces, you can't tell, but it is two pieces, I cut the 4x8 cut the and then did it here and here to keep the grain running the same direction all the way throughout the tree. And then I set up my projector and projected the tree that I found and fell in love with, this one, up on the, on, up on the piece of the wood. And um, then I just started tracing. Grabbed a pencil and started tracing out all the, all the branches, the trunk, the birds, everything. And even though it took me probably two, three hours to trace everything, I turned, off all the, or turned back on the lights, turned off the projector, and corrected any limbs and lines that I didn't really like or maybe turned out a little funky. Just kind of tweaked it and manipulated it the way I wanted. Um, you know, it's completely worth it to me because I was visualizing the outcome. But anyways, I traced it all out, and then as soon as I was done, I took the plywood off of the wall, moved them out into the garage, and since I didn't know how to work anything, I asked my husband how to work a jigsaw, cut a practice piece, and then for the next 22 hours, I pretty much spent all of my time, all my free time, cutting this guy out. Um, and it was, it was, it was probably about three days with very little sleep, with just nothing but cutting. But like I said, it was worth it to me. Anyways, so once I cut it out, this emerged. You can't tell in the video, but the canopy is two different pieces. I found a limb to where I could cut it, where it wouldn't be visible in the finished product. And, uh, same thing with here. I mean, this is, these are two pieces. And then it connects right there. And, um... As soon as I was done cutting it out, I, I sanded it some, I stained it, I put a coat of poly on it, and then with the help of liquid nail and my nail gun, I threw it up all, all on the wall, also with the help of a few friends. Anyways, it's been up on my wall now uh, for a few years, and I just, I still absolutely love looking at it. And uh, so if you can take this idea, and of course it doesn't have to be a tree, but I mean this is just... You can get so creative with something like this. Maybe for a nursery, you know, giant animals going around, or, you know, vinyl tree trunks are really popular right now. You could do 3D, uh, you know, this is just half-inch oak plywood. You could do actual tree trunks coming out. Um, so, yeah, if you have a blank wall that you don't know what to do with, get creative. Put up something that you love like this. Or, um, I don't know. I mean, there are no limits. So, yeah. I guess that's all the, all the details really, but I wanted to show it off even though it's in my house and not my workshop. I didn't know if somebody would get a kick out of it. So I guess that's it. I won't, like I said, see you anymore this weekend because I will be busy unfortunately, but I'll see you soon. So take care.